everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Thursday the 9th of December. We begin our time together, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for your great gift of life in all its fullness. Everything you have given to enjoy, to celebrate and to live for. We thank you for the innumerable blessings that you shower upon us every day. Love to share, beauty to enthrall, health to enjoy, food to eat, and so much more. A world to excite, fascinate, and savour. Above all, we thank you for the life that you have given to us in Christ. A life that you want us and all people to enjoy, not just for now, but for all eternity. Teach us to celebrate your love in all its richness, to rejoice in your gifts in all their abundance, and to celebrate life in all its fullness, to the glory of your name. Amen. Zechariah chapter 8 this is what the Lord Almighty says. Now hear these words. Let your hands be strong, so that the temple may be built. This is also what the prophets said who were present when the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord Almighty. Before that time there were no wages for people or hire for animals. No one could go about their business safely because of their enemies, since I had turned everyone against their neighbor. But now I will not deal with the remnant of this people as I did in the past, declares the Lord Almighty. The seed will grow well. The vine will yield its fruit. The ground will produce its crops. And the heavens will drop their dew. I will give all these things as an inheritance to the remnant of this people. Just as you, Judah and Israel, have been a curse among the nations, so I will save you, and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Just as I had determined to bring disaster on you and showed no pity when your ancestors angered me, says the Lord Almighty, so now I have determined to do good again to Jerusalem and Judah. Do not be afraid. These are the things you are to do. Speak the truth to each other, and render true and sound judgment in your courts. Do not plot evil against each other, and do not love to swear falsely. I hate all this, declares the Lord. The word of the Lord Almighty came to me. This is what the Lord Almighty says. The fasts of the fourth, fifth, seventh, and tenth months will become joyful and glad occasions and happy festivals for Judah. Therefore, love truth and peace. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Many peoples and the inhabitants of many cities will yet come. And the inhabitants of one city will go to another and say, Let us go at once to entreat the Lord and seek the Lord Almighty. I myself am going. And many peoples and powerful nations will come to Jerusalem to seek the Lord Almighty and to entreat Him. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In those days, ten people from all languages and nations will take firm hold of one Jew by the hem of his robe and say, Let us go with you, because we have heard that God is with you.
Psalm 19 The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. They have no speech. They use no words. No sound is heard from them. Yet their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned. In keeping them there is great reward. But who can discern their own errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Sovereign God, all too often we lose sight of your greatness, settling instead for a picture of you that we feel comfortable with. We have frustrated your will through the smallness of our vision. We have missed opportunities to serve you through the narrowness of our own horizons. We have denied ourselves your mercy through the confines we place upon your grace. Repeatedly, we have presumed that your ways are our ways and that your thoughts are our thoughts, forgetting that you are beyond words or beyond human understanding. Forgive us and teach us never to underestimate the awesomeness of your being or the extent of your love. Amen.